Hey, what up guys? So, I've decided that I'd like to put together some weights due to the fact that you can't make it into the gym right now. And uh, when I looked up online, all the plates uh, were sold in my local area. And then when I was trying to ship some in, I was waiting anywhere from, from a month to two months. So, crazy times are ahead with us, so or with everyone. And so I figured that it'd be good for me to be ingenuitive and figure out a way to get around being able to work out. Um, so what I've decided, what I've decided to do, is create my own uh, dumbbells, I guess, or or kettlebell um, using River Rock. Um, so I had some video filmed earlier where I was walking up. Uh, I went to the river. I picked up the stones and I walked them up this hill and got them to my van. And then it turns out that the film from my camera, uh, my f cell phone, was filmed at 30 FPS. And well, the film that I filmed with my camera is at F 50 FPS, so I can't make the videos match up. And so I've had to kind of scratch that and uh, just kind of come to you guys with just a short intro and um, jumping right into just making these stones uh, after getting them home. So yeah. Hang out with me for a little bit. Come check out the weights that I put together. So got back from the river and uh, I got my river rock and uh, I even brought it home and uh, weighed it up. And if you guys can believe it, this big rock right here, just one second. This big rock right here, that one weighs 120 pounds. It's uh, almost 130, but uh, who's counting, right? And this little guy right here, that one there was 50 pounds, 40 pounds, that little tiny stone, 20 pounds. If my math is right, what do we got? We got 120, 150, that's 70, 80, 90, 100, so we're at 200 pounds. And then the little guy there, uh, 220 pounds. So uh, we've got 220 pounds worth of weight. And all together, starting this endeavor, that's include like I had to buy a a, a uh, hammer drill. It cost me 80 bucks off of uh, Facebook marketing there. I found somebody who was selling one pretty cheap. So even with the impact drill and all of the attachments that I'm about to make, it came to about $200. So even with it being 200 bucks, a buck a pound, I'd say that that's a pretty good investment. Now here, I'm just gonna show you some of the uh, tools that we're gonna be using today. So if you check this out, we've laid this out, and uh, I'm gonna go over some of the tools here for you. Let's see, so we've got some eye hooks. This one I think is really cool, because what I'm gonna do is attach that, and it's gonna be for grip training. This one's gonna be like the Denny Stone but it's gonna be a little bit smaller. And I'm hoping to just attach that to something and uh, you know just be able to flex my fingers around it uh, just to get good grip strength going. So we got that guy. And then we've got some eye hooks. And that's what we're gonna to use to attach inside the stone. So then that way things can be clipped onto it. And what you have to do in order to attach these is you're gonna to have to use some anchoring glue. Now, uh, this is probably one of the more expensive parts of the whole build because, um, well, this little bottle is 30 bucks. Now there are bottles out there that have two spouts on it and they are resealable. So if you make, you know, do a run of one set of stones and then you can save it on for a little bit later. Um, that's, that's the hope anyway. I'm not too sure how long this stuff will, will sit it, uh, with it being covered like that. Um, but I'm hoping to at least make uh, another four or five stones. I could have made more, but for the sake of just getting this video out, I wanted to just get this started. So, we've got that. I had to go out and buy a brand new drill bit. Now, this drill bit here is, this drill bit here is just a uh, carbide tip. Oh, not showing in the camera. This is just a carbide tip. Um, it has to be an impact drill. Uh, otherwise, it's just not gonna get through the stone. Uh, so it's a masonry bit. So if I don't, obviously on the camera there, it's not going to show too well, but it's pointed because well, I'm showing you guys the other, the wrong end. 
So at the end there, it's pointed. So what's happening is this is jackhammering down and turning at the same time, removing some of the debris. Um, so it's gotta be a carbide tip, preferably a masonry drill, and preferably also diamond. I, I went cheap, I just went with $13. So this will probably only last me for these stones, and then that's, that's done, it'll be finished. Okay, so then to attach all of the equipment, I've got this carab carabiner hooked up to three feet worth of chain that's then put inside of a plumber's pipe. Now you don't have to go with this particular plumber's pipe. Uh, I did because it was already cut, but you are paying for it for the fact that it's already cut and already riveted. So if you want to go cheaper and make more handles, obviously buy a, 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 a couple linear feet worth of it. Um, and cut it yourself with the angle grinder um, if you got one. I actually I do think that Lowe's or Home Depot will cut it for you. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. So I've got another another handle here just to kind of show you guys how I was stringing this all together. Um, so you just feed the chain through, and then once you've fed the chain through, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just connect it into the other carabiner there. So another, another little project that I'm going to do is with these stones, I'm going to make a tire that I can pull and drag uh, in, the, in the alleyway. So what I've done here is I've just used, um, or I've got one of these little trailer hitches or tri -hit, uh, truck hitches. So in that way, I'm going to uh, put an eye hook in a tire, I'm going to fasten that to it, and this is going to give me something to add, whether it be rope or uh, lanyard line, anything like that, I'll be able to pull with the tire. Obviously you don't have to do this. Um, you could just use an eye hook and then that's it. But this just allows me to have total freedom on hooking up anything, any type of rope, any size, doesn't matter. Um, whereas like with this, if you notice, there's only an inch, maybe half an inch there. It's probably half an inch hole. So this just gives you more freedom. So yeah, some of the things also that you're going to need, you're going to want to have some ear protection because obviously you're going to be drilling and then some eye protection. So got the drill sitting there and I'm going to drill these stones. I don't really think you guys need to see that, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just make sure that you're all straight and lined up and uh, what we'll be using is a 3 8 uh, bolt. bolt so we'll need a 3 8 drill bit. Um, so keep that in mind, obviously. Yeah, check it out, got my badass shades on. Mm. So these are, uh, I just wanna do a little reminder. Don't forget your safety protection. You know, I haven't forbid, you guys try to sue me because I didn't tell you to do it. Don't forget your eye protection and your ear protection. All right, because obviously you're gonna be drilling into this rock and it's gonna be really loud. So it's the next day and uh, I had to actually go out the other day and get a new drill bit. One thing that I really want you guys to know is that you should really get a diamond uh, carbide with the impact drill because when I used this really cheap, um, I don't know, it was like 11 bucks, 12 bucks. When I used that really cheap drill, it only managed to get through two of the stones. Now, I was pressing really hard when I was doing it, and the one thing that I can also say is let the drill do the work. Just start it off slow, press it in, and uh, just let the drill do its work. Otherwise, I mean, it, that might be another reason why this drill bit's all mangled. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the tip's just completely flat. Um, and then I'll take you over to this, this other drill bit. And I managed to get through those three stones there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this drill bit here, it managed just fine and it didn't even really go down in the tip at all um, so yeah so anywho these uh, these three stones are now drilled up and the next step is to put in this anchor glue and uh, let's see. so what we need to do here with this anchor glue is we're going to open it up and then we're going to spread a small amount of it out and make sure that it's coming out evenly because uh, obviously it's a two I believe it's a two-step epoxy in the inside of this container and um, 
we just need to make sure that it's coming out all nice and even that it's all one color not not separated and then we just fill these holes put the anchors in and then we'll wait 38 hours all right so we've got the rings in now with the glue and if you notice let's see if i can zoom in this one here has got a little bit of a black around the edges but what i'm noticing too is that when it's fully mixed it's actually more of a brown so this one this this that of course it's obviously the heaviest one so one of the things that uh, I'm gonna have to watch out for is this coming out coming out just due to the fact that the epoxy didn't mix well and the only reason why I'm showing this to you guys is obviously for a learning experience it doesn't need to be Instagram perfect and um, what I'll do is if it does pop out I'll just re-drill and reapply the sweet thing is is this brand that I got here uh, Sika Pro Select it actually comes with two nozzles and it also comes with a cap so I wipe down the cap and then I just put it on or wipe down the tip and then put on the cap so hopefully I should just be able to get that cap off and I can reapp reapply if I need to so yeah each of these are all done I'm not really too concerned about what direction the carabiner sits I mean maybe that one could totally be turned that way I don't know so yeah there you go yeah, we'll wait 48 hours or 38 hours and then we'll uh, test them out see if they come up come up come apart it's the next day and uh, the stones are cured all the eye hooks are completely fastened and uh, they're not going anywhere uh, it said on the bottle that it would only take two hours to cure um, and of course I demoed them as soon as I could uh, but I would I would obviously invite the idea that you should always give it a day before you really do any heavy swinging so some of the things that um, you could do differently with uh, with these stones one thing is, is that I don't have masonry uh, bolts in here eye bolts they so what a masonry bolt is is uh, the masonry bolt is actually one welded piece and uh, it, it's meant for heavier loads uh, I don't think these were baited for 350 pounds and obviously my heaviest stone here is only 120 130 pounds yeah it was one, 127 pounds this stone if I remember correctly um, so obviously these are gonna work just fine um, but if I had like something like the Denny stones or something heavier 350 pounds plus per stone I would probably, I would definitely want a uh, masonry bolt in these. Um, yeah, so let's just show you guys how I got this all set up. Let's see where we're at with the camera here. Okay. So, what I've done is I fastened a chain with some plumber's pipe on to make a handle, easy to curl with. Also easy to do any sort of kettlebell swing with. But what we'll be doing with that bigger stone there is uh, things like um, goblet squats. So I'll set up like a box. Or if you uh, look over here, I, you know, not that it's not that it's safe, but I could do some goblet squats right there, and yeah, putting the stone down into that little hole. So there's just a whole bunch of different ways that uh, you can train with these. I'm gonna straighten out the camera and kind of put it together and maybe just do a quick little demo. Tricep kickback. Front raise. Lateral raise. Ooh, that's a tough one. All right. And then obviously you got your kettlebell swing. 
And although, you know what? With this, you're gonna wanna make the chain a little bit longer. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna nut yourself. Let's see that. <laughs> Sweet, so here, we'll try the, a little bit of a heavier stone. I don't even know if I'll be able to curl this one. Nope. Keep it light. So there you have it, custom made weights, Flintstone style, yabba dabba doo!